After a spectacular arrival, the Hokulea is now docked in San Francisco. Mahail Ani Richardson was on board as the crew sailed under the Golden Gate Bridge. For the first time in 28 years, Hokulea is back in San Francisco. So when you got the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a special visit for the crew, and on this rare day, the city was without its most famous resident. Today is a beautiful day. We have light wind, the sun is out, there's no fog. But this coast is a, is a place that makes you humble. Polynesian Voyaging Society President and Pole Master Navigator Nainoa Thompson says before arriving in the Bay Area, the crew was blinded by massive fog. There was fog wider than the state of uh, California, and we were in it for 48 hours. It was a little nerve-wracking. On Sunday, with clear skies and picture-perfect conditions, crew members unfolded Hokulea's wings, and the iconic Polynesian voyaging canoe glided under San Francisco's world-famous bridge. San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge is one of the world's engineering marvels. Does it see the crew opening her sails, sailing under the bridge, truly amazing and a cultural experience? You know, it's really special. Uh, you know, for Hawaiians, they actually came here during the Hawaiian Kingdom, and Kalakaua and many ali'i uh, actually frequent this town. Crew member Kaivi Hamakua Makue is eager to share his ike or knowledge. Lehua Kamalu brought Hokulea's sister canoe, Hikianalia, to San Francisco five years ago as the first female captain and navigator. It's really nice. It's, you know, I think, uh, gosh, five years later we've had, had so many voyages and that was like my first trip as captain and oh my gosh, there was a lot of nerves and since today I know as the captain I get to, <laughs> I get to enjoy it a little bit more. And Do you ever get tired of seeing the Golden Gate? No, never, especially without the fog. <laughs> Also on board, two members of the Miwok tribe, the indigenous people of California, and oceanographer and explorer, Dr. Sylvia Earle, who is Time Magazine's first hero for the planet. This is a moment in time when Hokulea, really with a voyage of hope to connect people. As the crew arrived at the aquatic center, dozens of outrigger canoes paddled next to Hokulea. It's amazing, once in a lifetime, I guess, right? San Francisco's fireboat welcomed the crew with a water salute, and from above, the world could see this lay of hope for people, its culture, and our planet. Reporting from San Francisco, Mahia Lenny Richardson, Hawaii News Now.